Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Today we're exploring exciting new projects that are paving the way for a sustainable future. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, Visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Hello and welcome to ReneeEnergy.com. Today we're embarking on a unique journey into the world of green hydrogen, illuminated by the power of numbers. We'll delve into the fascinating statistics from the comprehensive report by ARENA and WTO, shedding light on the transformative potential of green hydrogen in our sustainable energy future. Disclaimer. The content in the Green Hydrogen and Renewable Energy Innovations video series is based on the IRENA and WTO report International Trade and Green Hydrogen, supporting the global transition to a low-carbon economy. This content is for informational purposes only and does not reflect the official stance of IRENA, WTO or any other mentioned organizations. While we strive for accuracy, ReneeEnergy.com does not guarantee the completeness or correctness of the information presented. For comprehensive details, viewers should consult the original report and other authoritative sources. The Economic Shift in Renewable Energy In the realm of renewable energy, the last decade has witnessed a remarkable economic transformation. The cost of solar photovoltaic PV, power, a key driver for green hydrogen production, has seen an almost 90% drop over the past 12 years. This dramatic decrease is not just confined to solar energy. Onshore wind generation costs have decreased by 69%, while offshore wind has become 59% cheaper. These figures aren't just numbers, they represent a seismic shift in the energy landscape, making renewable energy sources like solar and wind the most economical choices in many parts of the world. This cost reduction in renewable energy is pivotal for green hydrogen. Why? Because green hydrogen production primarily relies on electricity derived from these renewable sources. The cheaper the solar and wind energy, the more feasible and economically attractive green hydrogen production becomes. But the impact of these cost reductions goes beyond just making green hydrogen production more viable. It's a catalyst for broader energy transitions, driving the shift from fossil fuel dependency to a more sustainable, renewable, energy-based economy. The implications are vast, from reducing greenhouse gas emissions to enhancing energy security, and fostering economic growth in regions rich in renewable resources. Moreover, these decreasing costs are not just a temporary trend, but part of an ongoing technological evolution. As technology advances, we can expect solar PV and wind power to become even more cost-effective, further bolstering the case for green hydrogen as a key component of our future energy mix. Projected demand and trade of green hydrogen as we look towards the future, the role of green hydrogen in meeting global energy demand becomes increasingly significant. According to the ARENA and WTO report, hydrogen and its derivatives are expected to satisfy a substantial 14% of the final energy demand by 2050. This projection isn't just a number, it's a testament to the growing recognition of green hydrogen as a versatile and essential energy source for a variety of sectors. But what does this mean in practical terms? For industries such as heavy manufacturing, shipping and aviation, where direct electrification poses challenges, green hydrogen offers a viable path to decarbonization. It represents a bridge linking renewable electricity generation to these hard-to-abate sectors, enabling a broader transition to net-zero emissions. The economic implications of this projected demand are profound. Green hydrogen's role in international trade is set to expand significantly. By 2050, about a quarter of the global hydrogen demand is expected to be met through international trade. This burgeoning trade will not only involve hydrogen in its pure form, but also its derivatives like green ammonia, which is anticipated to be shipped predominantly for use in industries like fertilizer production and as a synthetic fuel for international shipping. Moreover, approximately 55% of this internationally traded hydrogen is projected to be transported via pipelines, while the remaining 45% is likely to be shipped as ammonia. These numbers underscore the strategic importance of developing efficient and cost-effective transportation methods for hydrogen and its derivatives. This growth in hydrogen trade also highlights the need for global cooperation and harmonization of standards and policies, as different regions will have varying capacities for green hydrogen production. International trade becomes a critical tool in balancing global supply and demand, ensuring that the benefits of green hydrogen are shared more widely. The economic viability and cost projections for green hydrogen in this segment, we delve into the economic heart of green hydrogen, its production costs and future financial projections. The IRENA and WTO report provides insightful data on the cost dynamics of green hydrogen, 
highlighting the evolving economic landscape that could make this energy source more viable globally. Currently, the production of green hydrogen is more expensive than its fossil-based counterpart. This cost disparity has been a significant hurdle in its widespread adoption. However, the tides are turning. The report illustrates a potential future where the cost of producing green hydrogen could align more closely with traditional hydrogen production methods. This change is driven by two primary factors, the plummeting costs of renewable electricity and technological advancements in electrolysis, the process used to produce hydrogen from water using electrical energy. The statistics are compelling. Over the past decade, we've seen a dramatic reduction in the cost of renewable energy sources particularly solar PV and wind power. This trend is expected to continue, directly influencing the economics of green hydrogen production. As renewable energy becomes cheaper, so does the electricity needed for electrolysis, effectively reducing the overall cost of green hydrogen. But it's not just about the cost of electricity. Advances in electrolyzer technology play a crucial role. As these technologies evolve and scale up, their costs are anticipated to drop significantly, mirroring the trend seen in renewable energy technologies. This dual impact of cheaper renewable electricity and more affordable electrolyzers could make green hydrogen competitively priced with fossil-based hydrogen in the near future. What does this mean for the global energy market? It signals a potential shift in the hydrogen production landscape, where green hydrogen could become a financially attractive option for industries and countries looking to reduce their carbon footprint. This shift is not just environmentally significant, but also carries immense economic potential. By reducing the cost of green hydrogen, we open doors to new markets, create opportunities for industrial growth, and pave the way for a more sustainable energy economy. Trade implications and global distribution. Turning our focus to the global stage, the trade implications and distribution of green hydrogen are as intriguing as they are crucial. According to the IRENA and WTO report, the future of green hydrogen isn't just about production and usage, it's also about how it moves across the globe. By 2050, it's estimated that international trade could satisfy about a quarter of the total global hydrogen demand. This statistic is significant, as it underscores the role of green hydrogen in the global energy trade. With its potential to be produced in various regions, green hydrogen can become a key export commodity for countries with abundant renewable resources. But how will this hydrogen be traded? The report suggests a split in transportation methods. Around 55% of internationally traded hydrogen is expected to be transported via pipelines. This mode of transport is likely more efficient for neighboring countries or regions connected by land. The remaining 45% is projected to be predominantly shipped as ammonia. This method is particularly relevant for long-distance trade, where converting hydrogen into ammonia can make it easier and more economical to transport. This shift in trade dynamics presents unique opportunities and challenges. For regions with limited renewable energy capacity, importing green hydrogen or its derivatives could be a viable option to meet their energy needs. On the other hand, countries with an abundance of renewable energy resources could become major exporters, creating new economic opportunities and contributing to a global redistribution of energy resources. Moreover, the growth in green hydrogen trade will necessitate advancements in infrastructure, such as the development of hydrogen pipelines and shipping facilities. It also calls for international collaboration to establish standards and policies for hydrogen trade, ensuring a smooth and efficient global market. Tariff dynamics in the green hydrogen supply chain. In our final segment, we explore an often overlooked aspect of green hydrogen's rise, the tariff dynamics and their impact on the supply chain. The IRENA and WTO report sheds light on the tariffs applied to products essential for green hydrogen production and trade, revealing insights into the economic and policy landscapes shaping this emerging sector. Electrolyzers, crucial for the production of green hydrogen, currently face an average tariff of 4.5%. However, more than 60 WTO members offer duty-free access to their markets for these products. This relatively low tariff rate and widespread duty-free access are critical in reducing the overall cost of green hydrogen production, making it more accessible and economically viable worldwide. But tariffs are just one piece of the puzzle. The green hydrogen supply chain extends beyond electrolyzers. It encompasses a range of equipment and materials necessary for the production, transport, and storage of hydrogen. The tariff structures on these components can significantly influence the cost and efficiency of the entire supply chain. For instance, tariffs on aluminium and steel containers, which are vital for hydrogen storage and transport, play a role in determining the end cost of delivered hydrogen. Understanding these tariff dynamics is essential for policymakers and industry stakeholders. It helps identify potential cost barriers and opportunities for international cooperation to streamline the green hydrogen supply chain. Reducing tariffs on key components can lower production costs, 
enhance global trade, and accelerate the deployment of green hydrogen technologies. Moreover, the report's insights into tariff structures offer a glimpse into the broader economic context of green hydrogen. They highlight the need for harmonized policies and collaborative efforts among nations to foster a conducive environment for green hydrogen growth. By aligning tariffs and trade policies, countries can collectively work towards a more sustainable energy future, leveraging green hydrogen as a key tool in global decarbonization efforts. Global Environmental Impact and Government Procurement In this insightful segment, we turn our attention to the environmental impact of green hydrogen and the role of government procurement in its proliferation. The IRENA and WTO report brings to light crucial statistics in this regard, offering a broader perspective on green hydrogen's potential to drive substantial environmental benefits. Government procurement accounts for a significant portion of national GDPs, averaging 10-15%, and approximately 13% of world GDP, amounting to around US dollar 13 trillion per year. This massive scale of government procurement has a direct or indirect responsibility for 15% of global greenhouse gas, GHG emissions. The transition to green hydrogen in government procurement can have a profound impact on reducing these emissions. The World Economic Forum, WEF, emphasizes that abating emissions from government procurement could lead to a US dollar 4 trillion boost to the green economy creating approximately 3 million new jobs. These numbers are not just economically significant, but also crucial from a sustainability standpoint. The integration of green hydrogen into government procurement policies can serve as a powerful lever for climate change mitigation, fostering the growth of the green economy and job creation. But why focus on government procurement? Governments, as major consumers of energy, have the capacity to set market trends and influence industry standards. By prioritizing green hydrogen in their procurement policies, governments can accelerate the development of the hydrogen market, support technological innovation, and drive down costs through economies of scale. Moreover, the environmental benefits of shifting to green hydrogen are immense. As a clean energy source, green hydrogen can significantly reduce GHG emissions, especially in sectors that are challenging to electrify. This shift aligns with global efforts to combat climate change and transition to more sustainable energy sources. Future projections and scaling up challenges. As we conclude our deep dive into the world of green hydrogen, it's crucial to explore the future projections and the challenges associated with scaling up green hydrogen production. The IRENA and WTO report provides a forward-looking perspective offering a glimpse into what lies ahead for this promising energy source. One of the most striking projections is the anticipated growth in hydrogen production. To meet the goals of the Paris Agreement and achieve a net zero energy system by mid-century, hydrogen production will need to increase significantly. IRENA estimates suggest that total hydrogen production must grow more than fivefold from now until 2050. This growth is monumental, signifying a major shift in the global energy landscape. Delivering on this ambitious scenario will require a massive expansion in renewable power supply. The electricity needed for this purpose is comparable to today's total global electricity consumption. Additionally, an unprecedented scale-up and deployment of electrolyzer capacity is necessary, expanding from a negligible base today to more than 5,700 gigawatts GW by 2050. However, this expansion is not without its challenges. Developing new supply chains both for green hydrogen itself and for the equipment and services required for its production and distribution will be a complex endeavor. It will involve significant investment in infrastructure, technology development, and human capital. Moreover, while the technical potential for renewable energy to produce green hydrogen is vast, it varies significantly across regions. This disparity means that some economies may not be able to satisfy their domestic demand leading to a reliance on international trade and cooperation. Additionally, the report highlights the need for policy interventions and support mechanisms to foster market growth and narrow the cost differential between green and fossil-based hydrogen. This involves addressing trade barriers, developing quality infrastructure, and increasing international cooperation to ensure alignment and consistency in standards and certification schemes. Conclusion As we wrap up our statistical journey through the world of green hydrogen, it's clear that we're standing at the cusp of an energy revolution. The numbers we've explored today from the IRENA and WTO report are more than just figures on a page. They are indicators of a profound shift towards a sustainable, low-carbon future powered by innovative solutions like green hydrogen. From the dramatic cost reductions in renewable energy, to the anticipated increase in global demand and trade, green hydrogen is poised to play a pivotal role in reshaping our energy landscape. The potential environmental benefits, coupled with the economic opportunities it presents, make green hydrogen a beacon of hope in our collective quest to combat climate change. However, this journey is not without its challenges. Scaling up green hydrogen production to meet global needs 
will require significant advancements in technology, infrastructure, and international cooperation. Governments, industry leaders, and communities must come together to address these challenges, aligning efforts and resources to unlock the full potential of green hydrogen. As we look towards the future, it's evident that green hydrogen is not just an energy source. It's a symbol of progress, innovation, and our commitment to a cleaner, greener planet. At ReneeEnergy.com, we remain dedicated to bringing you the latest insights and developments in this exciting field. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration of green hydrogen. Stay tuned for more content on renewable energy, sustainability, and the technologies shaping our world. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated. It's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoyed the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.